If your flush leaks in your toilet bowl or if you hear weird noises in your tank, it's probably a good time to repair it. Hey guys, my name is Stan, I am a French plumber and today we are going to repair a flush. The Verso 350 from Xiang. And you'll see that it's very easy to do. Just before we start, if your toilet is different from mine, or if you're looking for pieces of the toilet, I'll tell you about my website, linstan.co.uk. That will allow you to have a video call with a plumber, but I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. So, this tutorial will be divided in two parts. This one which will be the assembly and a second one which will be the disassembly. If you want to see the second part, you can click right here or just wait till the end of the video. I hope you're ready, let's go! To remove this first plate, you'll have to push it from below and then lean it towards you. Then you'll find two screws that you'll have to unscrew with your hands. If you struggle to do so, you can use a coin to help you. And start unscrewing so you can finish with your hand. Then in the center, there are two more screws to remove. And now, you can remove the second plate. Behind, pull up the latches to remove the third plate. Remove it towards you, like this. Now, you can close the water with the general water or the tap that I'm doing right here. Next, you'll have to lift up the small flush just like that. Be careful doing so, it's very fragile. Now, you don't have any more water in your flush, so we're going to remove an element that is in the middle, which is the spacer. To do so, you'll have to lift it up and remove it from its embedding. And now you can get it out of the tank, nothing easier. With the help of the two big fins, here and here, make a quarter turn to the mechanism counterclockwise. Remove the mechanism and be careful not to bend the antennas. There is one last piece to remove and it's the mechanism basket. Just pull on it to remove it. If your float valve is old and dirty, you'll probably have to change it. This can be done very easily with this tender nut. Sometimes it can be hard to unscrew, so you can use a plier to help you at the beginning. If your float valve is recent, you can replace it with the membrane seal. Or just clean it, it depends on its state. To do so, unclip the grey part, remove the bottom part, then unscrew it counterclockwise. If it's too difficult, use a plier. Remove the membrane and check if it's not cut or ripped. If it's damaged, you'll have to replace it. If you have to replace your float valve or the membrane, you can get it now on our e-commerce shop. When buying with us, you support our content creation of new tutorials, which will help you again one day, I'm sure. The purchase link for both of these will be in the description. If it's not the case, clean it with water. Just like the floating valve, if the mechanism is too old, it can malfunction. If it's your case, I'll put a link down below so you can get a new one. Otherwise, it's possible to replace the valve or to clean it. To do so, turn the mechanism upside down and remove the plastic valve. The purchase link for the mechanism and the valve will be in the description. And remove the valve. If the valve has too much limestone and is crackled, you should probably replace it. But if it's just very dirty like this one, clean it under water. For the basket seal, if it's dirty, remove the joint like so. Then clean both parts under water.
And voila! I really hope that my tutorial helped you. If it's not the case, you know that you can use my service linstand.co.uk which is a video called troubleshooting for any problems that you could have at home. The idea is very simple. You just book a video call with me so that you can have my expertise in life. And I will help you solve your problems by showing you what to do. And I'll also tell you what pieces you need to buy. So if you are interested, you know that you can book a plumber in less than 10 minutes on my website, linstand.co.uk. Or you can just click on the little thing right here. You'll see it's very easy. Our service is also available for English speakers, so go check it out. If you like my tutorial or if you have some remarks to make, you can tell me everything in the comment section. For those who want to follow me on Instagram, it's right here. And if you want to see the second part of this video, you can click right here. See you next time.